Hello, my name is Diane Brown and I am president of Parent Advocates for Children, PAC. We are a parent group within the school district of the City of York. I am also the co-chair of this year's Education First Parade and Rally. Our theme this year is Great Expectations, Failure is Not an Option. Our parade and rally will be held on Saturday, May the 5th, 2012, and we will uh, kick off from the Sovereign Bank Stadium and parade south on South George Street through uh, Penn Park. At Penn Park, we will have a rally. There will be food, fun, and entertainment. We look forward to your support and participation. We'll see you there. Thank you. motorcycles that drive down the streets you know why can't we do it for education that's a priority and we have to make the city recognize that that is our priority education I can, uh, say that I'm a living witness to the Bud Billiken parade some of you might know that I grew up in Chicago and not only did I participate in the Bud Billiken parade but it was your life. You live for the Bud Billiken Parade, and you really did it justice. I cannot believe that I'm actually hearing um, the impact that it had on you, um, not being from Chicago, but growing up in Chicago, it was the thing. And if you wanted to punish a child for life, you just say you're not going to the parade this year. Wow. And that was... Uh, really something. But we lived for the Bud Billiken Parade. That's, it was a vision of our mayor, and you know, it's to take off and to take root here as it did there. You're absolutely right, Mrs. Kirkland. It was to inspire, to motivate, to have the community and the students commit to an educational foundation. So, and I guess I did a little uh, research. So the first parade, of, uh, first Bud Belkin parade and picnic was held August 11, 1929. 19 something. 1929. That was the first one. <laughs> so, so don't ask me if I went to the first one. <laughs> and now it's always the second Saturday, second Saturday in August. I mean, next year, 2012. Second Saturday in August. It's a day of community and celebration.
things like that for the little ones. I think it should be um, on the middle schools and the high school. We need more than just marchers. Yes. We need something like a float. You know, and the middle Float school comes under the transportation. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about We're that. talking about participation in, in the grade. We didn't have a Halloween grade this year. It was all those people in the Halloween right. grade. Get the roster from them. I know, we Whoever still have to try to find them. Yeah, there you have your clowns. People YWCA. They, they were YWCA, they were YWCA but I haven't been able clowns. to find it online. I mean, so. we will be glad to perform in our brain. I looked, I didn't see it yet. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to have to look a little bit more. It's a good roster I, to have. Contact uh, information is already I think it should be as big as we're celebrating education. <laughs> so that's not, that's a nationwide. We're all in it. We're all in it together. So um, getting some of the band to perform, you know, in March. Um, we're also big in my building with, you know, colleges. You know, some of the.